everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm continuing my Discontinued Perfumes series with the Moogla fragrances. So I'm gonna be listing out all my favorite Moogla perfumes or iconic Moogla perfumes that are now discontinued. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. I have lots of other videos just like this. I'll leave my other Discontinued Perfumes videos down below. And if you're a regular, do make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up, that really helps me. And if I can find any of these perfumes online that are discontinued, I'll leave the links down below below to where you can get them for UK, uh, Europe, North America, wherever they're available. Cool, so the Thierry Mugler perfume brand was actually sold to L'Oreal, I think it was last year or the year before, and I think there has been some reformulation and certainly the new ones coming out, like Angel Elixir, don't really have that same iconic Mugler vibe to them. You know, Angel Elixir smells like a lot of new perfumes that are coming out right now, particularly from L'Oreal. It smells like Valentino Volsha Viva to me, sort of jasmine and stuff but obviously the original Alien Angel are just known for their incredible lasting power and super unique scents. But there's also been loads of flankers and versions of them that are sadly discontinued. So in terms of the Alien perfumes, I wanted to start off with Alien Fusion, which I really liked because it was an orange blossom perfume. It also had tuberose in, so it was kind of a bit like Armani My Way, but it was strong and it had a ginger top note, which was really, refreshing, a little bit unusual, and a bit of an amber base. It came in this red bottle, very unique. And yeah, that's definitely the one that I sort of resonated with a lot. I also really liked Alien Flora Fortuna. It came in a pretty pretty sort of pinkish bottle. And this was a fresh lemon opening note, but then it had this um, night blooming cerise, which is a really beautiful white floral, mysterious fragrance note, um, which made this have that mysterious quality that the Alien perfumes tend to have. Again, this was limited edition. And I also thought the Mirage one that came out in the blue was quite good. That had a mineral note in it, very unusual. It literally smelled a bit like smelling a stone almost. And fresh lotus in the heart. I love my lotus notes. It's in my Aphrodite perfume. So I found that one quite interesting and, and a good alternative because Alien Original is so heavy. It was nice to have something a bit lighter. I know a lot of people who love Alien really loved Alien Essence Absolute. This came in a sort of golden bottle and it had all the signature DNA of Alien but with lots um, sort of vanilla. It's kind of like combining Alien and Alien Goddess. And it was strong, like absolute perfume, really insane for lasting. I've no idea why they discontinued it because so many people loved it. And I get asked messages about that all the time asking, you know, where it's available. Um, so I know that one was a big success for Alien lovers. Moving on to the Angel perfumes, which are a bit sweeter. I like the summer limited editions they used to do. The 2021 had a fig top note, which was really nice. I love fig. Worked well for like the autumn I found. And their fruity fair one had whipped cream in. It kind of smells a bit like a Ariana Grande type fragrance and um, kind of a bit like cloud. I met some of the perfumers that created Angel and, and one of the briefs they were given from Mugla was that he wanted it to smell like a fairground, like you're going to a fairground. So that's why this one was created, Fruity Fair, that gave you that whipped cream, almost cotton candy fairground scent. And I know a lot of you loved Angel Iced Star, which was their coconut one. To me, this smelled just like pina colada. Pineapple, coconut combined, kind of like my Firefly Beach and my my pineapple candle combined basically and was really good for lasting as well, all eau de parfums. Now I understand that the Angel Muse perfumes are discontinued, both the eau de toilette and the eau de parfum. The eau de parfum was like a chocolatey patchouli and the eau de toilette was one of the few like passion fruit fragrances with a bit of the chocolate patchouli but like less of it. They came in these quite sort of pod alien-like um, bottles and um, I understand that they are discontinued now. Like I said, I'll try and find them and leave the links. I also understand that Angel Nova is discontinued, the pink star. I think this is just happening now, so you can still find it online. I knew the Eau de Toilette had gone, but it looks like the Eau de Parfum's gone as well. It kind of reminds me of Delina from Parfum de Mali, but fresher. It's like raspberry lychee top note and then rose. Very different to original Angel, much fresher. And it's one that I recommended for fans of like fruity rose perfumes because it has very good lasting power. 
the Eau de Parfum, so, and I love the pink bottle, so it's a shame that's discontinued, I think. I believe the Aura perfumes as well are also discontinued. This is a very unusual fragrance. It's kind of green, had rhubarb in, but also some vanilla. It was very unique, very complex, very good for lasting. There was an Eau de Toilette and there was a Sensual version um, and the original Eau de Parfum, and it came in this green heart. I don't think it ever really took off or did well for them, and I believe that is now gone. And then the one I get asked about a lot, which is a bit confusing, is Mugler's Womanity. So this has been out for quite a while. It's a fig fragrance with like a caviar note, but yeah, lots of fig. There's very few fig perfumes out there, kind of a leaf, fig leaf as well as the fruit. Now there was a time when you couldn't find this anywhere like online, but I noticed now it's on the Moogler website, but it's not on many other websites. So I'm confused whether it's discontinued, have they brought it back, have they reformulated it and brought it back? I don't know what's going on, or maybe they've just found loads of stock, so they're just selling it on their website. I'm not sure whether this is discontinued or not, Womanity, but you can get it at the moment. So I'll find it and leave it linked below because I'm not sure if it is going to be around forever. But yeah, so that's my whistle stop tour through the discontinued Muggler perfumes. Guys, let me know what your favourite was from the discontinued ones. Did you like any of these? And do let me know in the comments. I do read all your comments. But that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching, as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.